teachers are usually the adults in a classroom, but for a handful of local elementary schools, the teacher can't even talk yet. Monica McNutt explains. Hello, baby Ian. Meet How Ian and his first grade friends at Beauvoir Elementary School. How are you? Hello, baby Ian. Ian and his mom are helping these students learn oh. about empathy. Oh, what do you see baby Ian doing? He's smiling and he has emotions when he smiles and um, he likes all of us, I can tell. The Canadian-based program Roots of Empathy taps into students' social and emotional learning using nine visits from their tiny teachers over the course of the school year. To be able to highlight all of the different emotions through the facial expressions and body language that a baby uses to communicate helps children recognize those same facial expressions and body language in each other. I have seen the conversations that they have in the classroom and all of that. I've, I've seen it in other parts of their day. I've seen it in how they treat each other. The program is more than baby visits. It's a curriculum with lessons before and after to prepare for each theme and the baby's milestones. We were waiting for him to, to roll over um, and then when he did, two of the kids started crying and that made me want to cry because it was so special and just to see just how excited and happy they were, it made me even more happy. No one in the room was afraid of being called a crybaby in that moment. And that was really, that's the heart of Roots of Empathy, is creating a classroom space where kids just feel so safe. This pint-sized professor isn't just acing being cute. Just ask his students, can a baby teach you anything? I would say yes it can because if you really study it and you have a teacher like Miss Maya, you can really learn a lot. See you soon. See you In Northwest, soon. Monica McNutt, News Channel 8.